Yo, 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 guys, how's it going? We're back in the arcade room with the new game. I got a quick review for you guys. It's called Pac-Man Championship Edition 2. It's a kick-ass game. It just came out today. I thought I'd give you guys my two cents about it. Let's get through this. So, one thing that I realized is that this game is so different from the original. It's crazy. The rules have completely changed. I'm, I'm sure that if you guys play this game, you're gonna be shocked also. So I played through the tutorial before doing this video. Um, you've got tutorial, score attack. Score attack is like playing some games, some simple Pac-Man games with, with like different rules, different situations. You got adventure, it's still locked, that just got this game. And you got the options section, which appears in any game, that's not special. Anyways, let's get into this. Here we go. Um, Score attack, you can choose your, your course. You, uh, every course has a different kind of like situation. You got more ghosts, you got different maps, you got... Anyway, let's just get into it, man. Come on, live the adventure together. There you go, it's loading. Man, this is, it's just so crazy how different it is. So this is, this is so cool. Before you start playing, you get to choose. Let's, let's just call it the format, the kind of format that you like when you play this game. So, you got different kinds of mazes, different, different colors. Um, this is really basic kind of stuff. Um, you got up to 24 different mazes. You can go random if you want. BG, background. So, in the, as you can see right now, the background is moving. Man, sometimes it's like completely psychedelic LS, like uh, LSD kind of like bullshit. It's crazy. Like, the background is moving like so much, there's so much shit going on in the background, you don't even know what's going on in the foreground. You're supposed to be focusing on the maze. But in the background, it's like, it's like this freaking crazy tunnel vision thing. It's, it's crazy. Anyway, you got like 12 different backgrounds. I'm sure you're gonna get some extra DLC. You know, they want your money. It's like, oh, get more backgrounds, get more shit. Characters like in every new Pac-Man, you can get like the 2D Pac-Man, the 3D Pac-Man, the old Pac-Man, the pixelated Pac-Man, this Pac-Man, and the pizza Pac-Man, and that Pac-Man, and even like the crazy morphed uh, aborted fetus Pac-Man right there. Uh, there you go, so auto there. Camera, you can have like the typical flat camera, you can have like the isometric perspective. Again, I'm not gonna go through every one uh, of these um, different variations, and you got the BGM. Man, the BGM is so good. It is so good. I mean, come on, guys. Pac-Man is such a simple game, but with such a kick-ass BGM, man, everything changes. You got 19 different songs, and you know what? Let's just go random, you know? Most of them are like uh, EDM, you know, like techno. You got like para para, Japanese para para music. It is so freaking great. You know what? Let's just... Let's put everything on auto. Let's just go crazy, you know? And you can actually have the thing demo if you want. It's like, oh, I want this map, I want, oh, I want that music. You know, if you're really picky, you can push the square button and get a preview. Let's just get into it. Boom, game start. And it's Pac-Man. However, it's not as Pac-Man as you would think it is. You get the pellets, move around, get the pellets. You got a ghost that's chasing you, obviously. Take a look at this. Boom, I touch the ghost and I'm not dead. You can actually bump the ghost two or three times before it gets angry. And when it gets angry, then it can freaking kill you. You got these little minions, these little uh, sleeping ghost babies. And uh, when, when you get close to those, they actually wake up and they link to the actual ghost. Then they make like a train. The bigger the train, the better for you, right? I mean, obviously, the bigger the train, they go faster, which is dangerous. But once you get the pack pellet, the big, the mega pack pellet, you can chomp all of these motherfuckers at once and you get this kick-ass combo. Anyway, this is the first stage, so it's really short. But again, bump, I'm not dead, which is shocking, right, for a Pac-Man game. Let's move on to the next stage. I'm gonna eat the cherry. There you go, I just woke up a minion. Boom, teleport from the bottom. No, 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 from that side, actually. Keep on moving. Wake up, motherfucker. Now, the train is much bigger. Get all them pack pellets. I just got a bomb. You guys know what the bomb is for, right? If you're in danger, boom, you jump. It actually resets everything. It gets you back to the starting point, so boom, you jump right there. You got little portals also, wham, right there. Keep on moving, and then you get other ghosts. I don't get, I don't know what's, what's going on with that. 
The red ghost is the most dangerous one. Keep on moving right there. Just have fun. Listen to the music. We're having fun. We're having fun. Next stage, motherfucker. Let's go. Wake up, fucking minion. You see, I'm having a good time. This game is so simple, and it's so fucking fast. Man, <laughs> I mean, we just started, so it's kind of slow, but then it just goes crazy, man. Look at that. Look at all these fucking minions, you know, and you wake them up, and it creates this really long train. You see? Look at that. It's super, super long. Keep on moving around. And not every mode is like this. You get more ghosts. You get different, different kinds of modes. I mean... This is like the, the train mode, let's say. You're fighting against one ghost in a maze, and the idea is, look at that, the pack pellet just appeared, I'm gonna devour it, boom. Oh, I'm gonna get you, bitch. Oh, motherfucker, boom, look at that. Wham, motherfucker, look at that, 3D mode, it looks awesome, and then it resets itself, I get all these points, move on to the next stage, and it goes on and on and on like that, but only for this mode. Like I said, you can have like the traditional mode. Man, this game is so fast. The music is awesome, the graphics are kick-ass. I love moving from one stage to the other. You get that 3D view, boom, jump, 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 eating pack pellets, ghost chasing me, ghost sleeping, ghost waking up, ghost bumping. I get the banana, boom, I'm in the next stage. There you go. Guys, as you can see, I'm having a blast. I am having a blast. All right? So if you're into Pac-Man, and even if you're not into Pac-Man, I gotta be honest with you guys, I am not into Pac-Man. For me, it's like a fucking boring game. But the music is so good, and the atmosphere is so great. You know, it's so modern. You know, I mean, God damn it, man. If you have an arcade cabinet, especially if you got girls coming to your place, you want them to play some games, you're not gonna be playing Street Fighter, Fatal Fury, or Samurai Spirits. You're gonna be playing Pac-Man. Now there is no two-player mode, which is kind of strange. It's kind of a turnoff, or at least up to now, I have not seen a two-player mode. But anyways, there you go. It, th this is Pac-Man. Um, it's really kick-ass. I'm just gonna go back to the to the startup screen. Great graphics, kick-ass music. Man, the music is so good. I'm just gonna play this game just for the freaking music. Great graphics, good music, just fun, simple play, you know, you want to kill 10 minutes, boom, you get into this game, and you just play for 10 minutes, and you can kill 10 minutes very easily. Guys, I got to tell you guys one thing. This is, this is really interesting. I played this game on the PS4, you know? I sat down on my couch, I, 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 I downloaded this game, I started playing it with the, with the DualShock, and you know what, man? I felt nothing. I'm like, oh man, this game is gonna suck. I am not gonna review this game. And then, and then, I booted this trucker onto the Sega Lindbergh arcade cabinet. I played this game with the real joystick, and oh my god, the difference. Especially, these speakers are so good. The bass isn't that good, but man, they are still very powerful. You're sitting here, you're right next to the screen, and you go, doom, 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 doom. And you're moving the lever, you're not moving this little dual shock, little, you know, whatever you call it, the little thumbstick thing. You are right in front of the arcade screen, and you are living the experience, and it is such a much better experience. Guys, if you have an arcade cabinet, please download this game. It's only 10 bucks, very, very cheap. And, uh, and it's so worth it, you know? I've never played the first Championship Edition. Maybe I should go back, play that one. But yeah, also this game has like boss fights. You guys know, I mean, if, you, if you've looked up this game on the internet, it's got boss fights with this huge ghost in the background. It's got this 3D view. It is so cool. I totally recommend this game. Anyway, this review has gone way too long. Guys, peace out, enjoy this game, and keep on gaming. See you guys!